music. A name that has risen from Asheville, North Counter into the stratosphere of success in great singing of Southern Gospel music. They've sung at the White House. They've sung all across America. They've been in many other countries. Every award that has ever been offered to a male group at one time or another has been won by this group. Their band was Band of the Year for 15 years. They began in 1946, and in 2001, they're still singing great. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, the Kingsman from Asheville, North Carolina.
something a little bit different and a little bit special. At least it's very special to me and I feel like it'll be special to you. With our time here to see the rest of our time here this evening, we want to take the rest of our time to pay tribute to a man that all of gospel music loves and a man that has done so much for gospel music. He's done so much for me and he's done so much for for these guys, and he's done so much for gospel music. 45 years, this man and his life's dream has been going on, and that's the Kingsman Quartet. And we want to, I want to, uh, I want to take just a moment. You guys start coming on up. We're gonna bring some, uh, uh, some guys that's been with the King. Well, we have to start getting Hamill up here now, or he wouldn't be here by the time our time was up. Hey, you know how that goes, you know? So, but, I want to take just one second to tell you that the man, Eldridge Fox, who you folks love, who gospel music loves, and who has been so good for gospel music, and who has been so good to me, uh, 30 uh, some odd years ago, he gave me an opportunity, a little old country boy from the hills of North Carolina, to have my dream, and that's to sing gospel music. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take the rest of our time and give a tribute to a wonderful, wonderful man, loved by all, and we're going to do it for Eldridge Fox. We're going to give him Fox this great tribute, okay? Fox is not with us tonight. Uh, Fox is, uh, he's hanging on and hanging on, and he would love to be here, but he's back home in North Carolina, and you folks know the history of, of, uh, of his uh, illness, but... We, Jim Hamill, I want you to come forward and you take it from here. All right? All right, buddy. I tell you, this is a kind of a sad occasion with Fox not being here. I joined the Kingsman 1971, and I guess Foxy was the only person in the world I could have worked with. Because <laughs> I do crazy things, as most of you know. And Foxy... Foxy just turned the stage over to me and the music and, and just let me run with it. And, and he's been my good buddy all these years. And when I call him every time, I'll call him Monday and I'll say, Fox, those people at Louisville didn't like you a bit. I said, nobody liked you, nobody asked about you. Uh, they didn't even care where you were. And in the feeble voice, he'll say, oh, Hamill, I know better than that. And we know better than that. There's none better than Foxy. Come here, Ernie. Love you. Well, I tell you, I remember when I first came to Asheville to audition for the Kingsman in that Grand Prix. <clears throat> uh, 
Fox was so dear, I, I, before I came down, he, he said, why don't you just pray about coming down for an audition for about a couple of weeks? And I said, man, that's great. I, I need time to pray. And um, hung up the phone, and in about 15 minutes, he called later, and he said, well, have you prayed about it yet? Why don't you come on down? And I could go on all night on uh, some of the fond memories we had with Fox. and He's been like a second dad to me, really. I'm still in Asheville, and uh, he's always been there for me. And I, I just praise the Lord for his talent, his ability, and his love for you tonight and for this group. Thank you. Ernie Phillips, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ray McKinney. He was the original baritone. Original baritone. For the Kingsman. Uh, How come you look so good? <laughs> well, I take care of myself, Jim. Uh, back in back in 19 and really 19 and 55 uh, is when the Kingsman Quartet got started. And I was the original, uh, original uh, baritone. And uh, we sang, I think, for about uh, two years. Then uh, we sort of uh, let off. And uh, then back in 1958, was it Martin? 57, we started back. And Martin played the piano for us. And then Martin left and went to service. And Elridge came and, and took Martin's place in 1959. And uh, uh, yeah, June. 58. Okay. But anyway, uh, Eldridge's, Eldridge's was, was one of my best, best friends. I went to school with him uh, from uh, nearly the first grade all the way through, and we've been uh, friends ever since. I try my best to go by see him at least once or twice to, uh, a month. So uh, Eldridge has uh, been a great friend of mine, okay? Thank you. Took you long enough. Get on back in here. Come on. Now, right here, this is the backbone of Kingsman. It's Foxy's personal secretary, Ray Dean's personal secretary, my personal secretary, all the Kingsmen, 35 years, Jerry Robinson. She didn't want to talk, but she wanted to be out here. Take a bow. Take a, oh, you're a good bower. All right. Very good. Very good. Come here, Timmy. <laughs> Ow. He's still stout to be nearly dead, but it's uh... <laughs> I, uh, I, I had a different angle from meeting Eldridge Fox than, uh, than some of these guys, uh, I guess. I, I met him as a, uh, I was a sort of a studio musician, and, and I ended up playing on some of their old records. and. Uh, and um, well, they're old now, anyway. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, he he hired me a few years after that, and, and we worked together in the studio uh, for eight or nine years. Every Monday and Tuesday, it would be me and him and Anthony Berger and different ones. And uh, and then on Monday night, he always called me and uh, uh, Eldridge and his wife wanted to fix chili, and we'd watch Monday night football. And if I didn't show up, they'd be calling and looking for me. And that's that's the kind of people they are. Uh, to hang out with and to, to work for and uh, you know Eldridge There's there's you know we'll tribute and this and that all night long But we would all go to war for him tonight and uh, he's, he's been so good and he treated us all that way He treated us all like family and uh, that's what I, I love the most about him and uh, and Eldridge still and Greg can tell you this Every time I go over there I say Eldridge when do you think you're gonna get back on the bus and he'll say just as soon as I can and uh, that's, that's, I think, what's kept him alive this long, that uh, the dream of someday getting to go back on the bus and on the road with the guys. So, and, and Lord knows we serve a great and powerful God, and it wouldn't surprise me to see it someday. But uh, I love him, and I love you all, and I love these men, and I love this group. God bless you all. Thank you, Tim. Yeah. Introducing very quickly, they say we've got about five minutes. Big Ed Crawford, give him, he was with the Kingsman, a hand clap. Get out of the way, Ernie. You've already had yours. But how about it for, uh, put your name in <laughs> Give him a hand. Good job. Wayne Maynard, son baritone. My favorite harp player. 
Randy Miller, you already met. He's normally off filming The Sopranos at this time, but he had to, this is Nick Bruno, ladies and gentlemen. Make him welcome. You already know him. Ray, original bass singer. You're holding up good. Give Raymond a nice hand. Give him a hand. What is it? Calvin Runyon, excuse me. I haven't seen your citizen flashback. Gary Shepard, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Give me the key to this song. I turned around last night and they said, turn back around. Y'all ready? Greg, I want you to come up and sing your daddy's verse when we get to it. I was standing on the banks of the river. Parker. Looking out over life's troubles see. When I saw an old ship that was saved, is that the
sailing out on the old ship of sailing out on the old ship Great job, guys. Great job. Woo. How about it for all the Kingsmen through the years? Let's give the Lord the biggest hand of all. That's why we sing. That's why we travel all the miles we can. Amen. The Kingsmen through the years. 1955, 2001. Great job. They still sound great. Give them another hand of love. They sound wonderful. How about an official hand for Greg Fox, the son of Eldridge? And how about it for the man that is Mr. Kingsman himself, old big Jim Hamill. Do you still love him? Great job, fellas. The Kingsman organization has given the entire gospel music industry a great, great amount of talent that have come through the Kingsman and have moved on into other groups, married into other groups, formed other groups, taken over other groups, continuing the gospel message that was instilled in them in the city in the sky called Asheville, North Carolina. We're proud of them. Our prayers will be with Eldridge, and to be in all honesty and candidness to you, Eldridge is not doing well physically, and uh, he needs a lot of prayer. It's, he's very, 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 and I could say that many times, very low. And of course, Greg is there to help him as well as his family, but he certainly needs our support, and we pray for his comfort as well as his healing. Somebody say amen. amen. This next young group.